shocking a 90 million euro bid made by Manchester United has been rejected by Ajax. Welcome to United Matters channel. How are you guys and where you're watching us from? I go by the names of Rock and David. You guys are really amazing and you have subscribed to this channel and almost we are hitting 7,000 subscribers. Guys, I think we are less by, let me check how many subscribers to hit. We are left with 400 subscribers to hit. We are left with 400 subscribers to hit 400 subscribers to hit 7,000 subscribers. That's our target before this month ends. But it looks like it's too little because you guys are really subscribing on this channel and you guys are really doing me great enough for you. Thank you guys. I go by the names of Rock and David. Guys, thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for loving me and I'm loving you back too by really bringing you content that you guys love. When you subscribe to this channel, it's a signature that you guys love me a lot and you love the content that we bring up to you. I see your comments. You guys are real amazing and let's get into this. But smash the like button, comment and share. And guys, subscribe, 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 subscribe in the free because we are getting into the heated part of the transfer window. I told you last time around that United had put in an offer of 90 million euro for Anthony. And today they've submitted a bid of 90 million euros to Ajax. It has been rejected. But I don't want to be like other YouTubers to come in and break the news. But I want to let you know how everything started today and how everything has gone ahead to happen and what Anthony is thinking, Edwin van der Sar intervening. Let's wait and see what is going to happen into this episode. So today, it was Fabrizio Romano who first put up a story and told us that Ajax are making it difficult, <laughs> but United are still determined to sign Ajax, to sign him. Ajax insists they have no intention to negotiate, but Anthony, but Anthony is more than disappointed and will push again. He told the club again today that he only wants Manchester United. Obviously, you know he's on strike, he has not been training, and obviously he only wants Manchester United. And as I'm going to tell the club that plays, I want to go to Manchester United. This is what Fabrizio Romano told us first today, and guess what? After that, Volkhurst in there for you coming in from Netherlands came out and told us that when United we are making it difficult for this deal to happen, Ajax chief executive Edwin van der Sar, who rarely involved himself in transfers, has stepped into negotiations that Anthony, at the age of 22, deal with Manchester United due to his relationship with the club. Obviously, because because Edwin van der Sar was at Manchester United and he really got his career ended at Manchester United and went to the Netherlands to start his work as a CEO of Ajax. Obviously, he came in and intervened. I mean, this, this not being his job to negotiate transfers, but it feels like we are, you, you guys, they're giving us 90 million euros. And this player, why don't we really sell him? Because you don't get to get this amount of money from this player. That was like the narrative, but obviously and obviously, something has not yet been got into the levels that is supposed to be to say this player really gets out but van der Sar is playing hard to see to it that this deal happens always playing hard to see to it that this deal happens in the for you and then after we are told by mark voway you know him very well he's a close close he's a close source to ajax and one of the biggest news news pundits and transfer gurus in netherlands working for the telegraph and orange he told us that a meeting between huntler and Hamstra and Anthony, his agents, his lawyers, and his brother took place this morning. The outcome of the meeting remained the same. Ajax don't want to sell Anthony while the player wants to join Manchester United. So there is what we call pulling the rope. Ajax are really pulling it to their side and Anthony is pulling to their side. So I don't know whether it won't go into ruptures because it is really heating up down in Netherlands because Ajax don't want to sell and the player is telling them, I only want Manchester United. Now, we hold... After all that, Mark Vowage broke the story that Manchester United have placed a 90 million bid for Anthony. It's not certain whether this includes bonuses from within the Joan Cruyff Arena. The sounds are still known for sale. So, meaning that the bid was rejected. And guess what? Hamstella, also coming from the Netherlands, came out and said, breaking 90% million euro offer for Anthony has already been rejected by, by Ajax. So it looks like it's not all rosy for Manchester United. And lastly, Fabrizio Romano came out and broke the story that Manchester United new bid has been rejected by Ajax earlier today. 90 million euros is considered not enough. That's why Anthony is disappointed with Ajax. He only wants United in the foyer. So 
when it, when it reaches this level, I don't want us to go out and be ransomed for this guy. United has done its best, and I don't want them to reach 100 million euros because it looks like that's the realistic amount of money Ajax want United to go in and cough out for Anthony. Anthony has played his part, United has played his part, and Ajax are just stubborn. They just want to milk out every penny that United can come out and give out for this player. But it, it's good for Anthony to come, but I think it's beyond our sleeve now. It's beyond our sleeve. I don't know whether United is going to go in and really make another bid. I don't know. Obviously, Ajax wants a 100 million euro bid. Let's wait and see and see what's going to happen. But this bid has been rejected that United really put in. Remember, on Wednesday, two words, on Wednesday, United made a bid of, I think it was, um, I think on Friday, Friday last week, United made a bid of 80 million euros for Anthony. That's it. They made an 80 million euro bid for Anthony. That's what United put up and it was rejected. That really brought Anthony to go on strike. He never trained again and obviously he is at Ajax and again he missed out on their game against Sparta and we don't know whether tomorrow is going to play the game of Ajax. But how does he play when he has not been training with the club? Obviously he's not going to play. So after Fabricio telling us that the bid has been rejected, Obviously, we had another story coming in from Seath Sky Sports telling us that talks ongoing between United and Ajax over Anthony after 90 million euro bid rejected. So it looks like United are in for this and they want this player to be joining United as soon as possible before the deadline day. And obviously, and obviously, they are really talking to Ajax and asking them, please, what do you want? What do you want? But it looks like Ajax, a mom, they are hesitant that we're not, the player is not for sale. But why are you in talks with United? Because the moment you're in talks with United means that you people are really ready to sell this player off to another team. Then we've been told by Jonathan Schreger, he has told us that those close to Anthony aren't sure at this stage if Manchester United will return to make another bid. Ajax haven't specified a figure to sell the player and are determined to keep him, despite Anthony's team's best efforts to facilitate a transfer. Obviously, it's like a transfer request that was verbal but not written. He told them that I really want out of Ajax. I want to go in and play for Manchester United. That is Anthony. But I think it's now worrying to the side of Anthony and his representatives because they really believe that 90 million bid is really going to be accepted by Ajax. But Ajax have really turned it down and they're saying, we don't know how much you want for the player. Keep bidding. You never know. You might put in a bid that will really entice us to sell the player. But obviously, this is times to the amount of money they expect to get from the player. And I don't know why they're not selling him. And this Anthony guy is into a lot of trouble, according to me. So, as things stand, it looks like this deal of Anthony might hit a dead end, according to me. And United might opt out to players like Marc Asensio. Because, because a story has been running that United has been told that this player is a variable and maybe United could go in and really sign a player who goes by the names of <coughs> by the names of of um of Asensio but we've gotten a story coming in from Mark Voyage that not being able to get Hakimi Ziyech is playing a huge role in not wanting to sell Anthony to Manchester United. Anthony is still refusing to train with Ajax and will miss the game against FC Utrecht this Sunday. So, Anthony is sticking on his heels and Ajax are sticking on their heels. They are saying, we are not selling you. He's telling them, if you don't sell me, I'm not going to be here anymore. I'm not going to come in here a moment. He's telling them, if you don't sell me, I'm not going to go ahead and really play any game for Ajax. I'm not going to train anymore. And if I tell you don't train me, it's going to do a very big effect that is negative onto my career at Ajax. So, as it stands, the problem is Hakimi Ziyech. Chelsea were offering Hakim Ziyech to AC Milan at 80 million euros. Now, after that deal hit a dead end, Ajax came in through. They started to negotiate with Chelsea as any competent club that knows how transfers are done. Before you sell a player, you're supposed to first get in your replacement. After Chelsea hearing that, oh, you are getting 100 million euros for Anthony. Do you know what they did? <laughs> they multiplied by six times. They want close to 50 million euros for, for ZH. Yet they bought him, I think, at the same amount of money from Ajax. 
at the age i think he came in at 26 years now he's going to hit 30 years and they want to get the same amount of money they bought him from ajax but the problem is ajax is requesting a ridiculous money or a ridiculous fee for anthony and that's why a team which a team which goes when the chelsea are telling them please can you also get us 45 or 50 million euros for zh but i really believe that chelsea will come into a compromise with ajax and this is what is really holding this deal to happen because chelsea needs the money they're not going to use the player and obviously other teams like spurs are in for him and ajax has already agreed everything with zh and zh is also sh shocked saying you're saying you are selling me at inter milan sorry at s milan at 8 10 million pounds 10 million euros and now you're asking 45 why are you asking 45 Chelsea is telling them you the person you're going to replace is being bought at a fee of is being replaced at a fee is being bought at a fee of 100 million euros so we should also get in and jump in of your ajax cannot go in and buy a player with 45 million pounds because they know that they can use that money to buy in close to six players because ajax buy players at five million pounds six seven eight if ajax spend out on a player they don't exceed 10 million pounds that's it the most expensive player Ajax have bought is Sebastian Haller. They bought him from West Ham at 18 million pounds. That's the amount of money that Ajax has spent high on a player. So you expect them to pay times almost two, three. They won't. They won't go in for that. And obviously, that's what we are getting in from a side which goes by the names of Netherlands. That this deal is not happening. Reason ZH has not arrived at Ajax. But no sooner Ajax agree a deal with ZH, obviously the player is going to go in and join Manchester United, that is Anthony. So that means United fans, you should be there praying that let ZH deal to Ajax really come to happening because when it comes to happening, then they'll let Anthony go. Because the reason that's why they're not letting Anthony go, they cannot let him go without getting a replacement. But I know they brought in Francesco Sensecao and they're just making it hard, though he has not been playing games for side which goes by the names of of Ajax so far, not even making to the bench. I don't know why, yet they bought him and he's really a very highly rated, rated player. They're not playing him. So I'm here to wait and see what's going to happen and I'm going to be here letting you know what is coming in from Ajax. But obviously, Anthony and his representatives are not are not okay with Ajax for not really selling him, yet he wants a move to Manchester United. Now, there were rumors after, after, after Anthony we have another story that really developed yesterday that United could go in for Victor Oshman. Reason being, <coughs> reason being, Cristiano Ronaldo and his agent George Mendes are working on a move for Ronaldo to go to Napoli. And obviously, when Ronaldo goes to Napoli, Victor Oshman might not start. Remember, they bought him at 60, 70 million euros from the French side and they took him to Italy and he's enjoying to play that side. Now, it has been really making grounds all over social media that United is in for for Victor Oshman. They're going to make a swap and then they're going to pay in some money and then put Ronaldo as a make weight in the for you. And now the agent of Victor Oshman has come out and really said something about these stories loitering all over social media. This is what he had to tell us that Victor Oshman's agent, Roberto Calenda, on Manchester United, there are no negotiations. All swap deal talks in pros in progress. Oshimeni is Napoli. Oshimeni is a Napoli player, and he wants to play Champions League football with Napoli. He's proud of being in the Champions League. That has been reported by Fabrizio Romano, and that has really taken off the rumors that United is in for Oshimeni. I don't believe that United can go in and bring in a centre forward who is close to 80 million euros. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt. I doubt the only thing they can do is bring in a Cody Gapko who can play as a center forward too I think that's what they can only go on and do according to me but the rest they can't do it and after spending that amount of money on Anthony of which they're going to go in and really get him because they can't get Ashim twice going to Barcelona and now Frankie de Jong has ordered his agent to uh, to start the talks with Barcelona on reducing his salary you get taking a pay cut that means united is ashamed again they've been really treated as as amateurs in business then if they lose out on this deal of anthony it will show the incompetency of the board of united headed by 
Richard Arnold as the CEO and John Mata, the technical director. So they can't see this deal not happening. That's it. And I think Ajax knows it better, and that's why they are forcing in left and right that they milk out every penny they want from a man who goes by names of Anthony. But Victor Oshiman is another deal that has been making rounds all over social media, and obviously it has been rubbished by our sources, and that is Fabrizio Romano, the number one transfer guru, and he comes in from Italy. When you really get you in a story from Italy, obviously just know it's going to happen in the for you. But I really believe that 90 million euro is okay for Ajax, but the problem is ZH, the alternative to Anthony. And a deal for Victor Oshman, it has been rubbished by the agent. But don't don't be surprised when you hear a story tomorrow that United is in for Victor Oshman. And him coming out and saying that Victor Oshman is happy playing the Champions League, that's out. When United knocks on your door right now, oh my God, you can't respond. You can't fail to respond. Victor Oshman, I've always told you that African players grew up supporting Manchester United, Chelsea, and Arsenal. So it's rumored that Victor Oshman is a supporter of Manchester United and he would love to be a United player. That's how the story was reported at first before the agent came out and refuted it. But obviously it was said that he's really a United player. He really loves Manchester United and obviously wants to be here at Manchester United and wants to be playing games for United game in game out. So let's wait and see where this development leads us to because obviously it's really a huge boost and obviously we expect lots of things to happen in here at a side which goes by the names of United Matters Channel. So United is really dangling everywhere and players teams that unite are really looking at are dolly a dolly darling either for you and obviously they are doing the hide and seek game and playing it with manchester united so today we've been drawn <coughs> we've been drawn in a group e of the uefa europa champions league and obviously and obviously united has been drawn down that side in that group we are having rio sociedad is it um uefa europa <laughs> so the groups have been drawn and i want to see the group where manchester united has been really put i only remember rio Sociedad. yet i did that video here The group, the group of United, the group of United, the group of United. Where are the groups? Where are the groups? Where are the groups? But of course, I know that Rio Sociedad is part of this. So, United has been drawn, and Eric Ten Hag had all the time to go in and really talk about what this has been about. <clears throat> All right, United is in Group E. There is Rio Sociedad, there is Shelf, and there is Omonoya. Omonoya. That is where United has been placed. And Eric Ten Hag has said, Europe is always something special and you don't know your opponents that well, but I think they will be good opponents. That's what Ten Hag is said. And I think he's like telling us that I cannot wait to go in and really play those teams. To see to it that I really utilize this as a chance to win the first trophy at Manchester United. Obviously, with the squad is having, and obviously it's really written over the wall that United is going to go out of this group. When you go out of this group, you expect United to go in for some signings in January to back the manager. And with those signings coming on at Manchester United, obviously, lots of things will go on and happen, including maybe the winning of that trophy of the UEFA Europa League. Because when you win it, you go to the Champions League directly, and even if you don't finish the top four as Eric Ten Hag, you'll be in the Champions League. That will give you a stronger position, and United will even go ahead and really spend more. Though United's record is poor, when they're in the Champions League, they don't spend a lot of money. Where out When they're out of the Champions League, they spend a lot of money. So guys, feel free to go into the comment section, tell me what to think about. Anthony, 90 million bid rejected. Then Victor Oshman's agent speaking out that he's not coming to United. And Eric Ten Hag reacting to the UEFA Europa League draw that was held today in Turkey, where United saw itself placed in Group E, where they're having Omonoya, Sheriff, 
um, Rio Sociedad and Manchester United. So guys, your reactions to these stories are welcome to the comment section below. I go by the names of Rock and David. Smash the like button, comment and share. If at all you're watching us for the very first time, endeavor to subscribe to this channel so as not miss the stories that we do upload in here on a daily. I sign out for now. See you later. Me, to God, protect you abundantly. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.